Hello and welcome to part 33 of Let's Play Pokemon Pearl. In the last part we slowly but surely worked our way up the mountain. That goddamn mountain. Had bad times. So yeah, here we are at the top at Spear Pillar. Although before we can actually go and see the evil boss man and, you know, talk to the evil boss man, we have to first do this double battle. I don't know this, so yeah, this is Spear Pillar, but I don't know who built this. Like, I don't know who bothered to bring up all the tools up the mountain and then hire a load of builders to work up here, then obviously flatten the top, because I don't think all mountains are flat. So yeah, they'll flatten the top, make it all work, and then slowly build up this big temple. And a temple or a place that only seems to be there to destroy the world, or to summon the legendary Pokemon, spoiler. So yeah, it's weird. So this battle seems to be a bit pointless if you ask me. You're gonna see in a bit why I think that but yeah I don't know why they make you do this battle really. It's like you've already fought your way up the mountain so I'd probably recommend healing at some point although I would even more recommend before heading up the mountain to buy some potions just in case. Actually no I don't really recommend that actually. <laughs> yeah like once you're up here you have to do free battles. Sorry to spoil that as well so but you do get healed after the second one so it might be a good idea to have some potions ready just in case but it's not really essential because you do this battle then you go into another battle but yeah this this battle is just so pointless you know like it's actually on top of spear pillar as well so i don't know why i don't know why it's here it's just a i don't know delay drag drag on time a bit so yeah, not, not much to talk about in this battle. This battle's pretty simple. It's a double battle, and you have to kill the Pokemon. We've all been here before, guys. We all know the story by now. And they don't have any interesting Pokemon to talk about at all, so... We're just going to have to wait until I finally decide to actually defeat them. God, past me is so rude. He just takes his sweet time. So yeah, I had Frosty Bush out, unfortunately for Frosty Bush got hit by a poison attack because that's one of its like six weaknesses, <laughs> so it died. I kind of Okay, it did start to fall behind in levels because it's level 39 and my Pokemon are like 40 or 41. But I didn't want to put XP share on it. You know, I thought Icicle Plate would A be more useful and would also just be like I don't know. I, I wanted it to stand on its own to well, I don't think it has feet, whatever, ice, leg stumps, or whatever the hell it has. I don't know, maybe it does have feet. I don't know. But yeah, I didn't really want to put XP show on it, because it also meant my other good, well, my better Pokemon wouldn't have leveled up as quickly. And at this point in the game, you're going to want them to level up. That's just, that's basic stuff, guys. Come on. So yeah, with that, that's the last grunt battle that you have to do. So now we're going to see what's... What's going on? Boss, doesn't he have a name? He should really have a name. Okay. This all sounds very, very dangerous. Mr. Blue Wolverine, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, I'm sure nothing bad's going to happen. Oh my, oh, that's not good. Let's not, no, not lightning. Let's not do this. Come on, let's, we're all friends here. There's no need to summon a big purple ball to try and destroy the universe. Let's just, you know, let's just call it. Okay, we're all friends here. Who's that Pokemon? Well, if you don't, if you don't know, it's the thing from the box. You know, it, it's kind of obvious it's going to show up. So yeah, if you like 3D, as in not the 3DS, as in 3D graphics. No, let's not destroy all things. Come on. Let's not do that, you're just being silly now. So yeah, here's a little cutscene, which is pretty cool. I thought it looks cool, you know? I think it looks cool. Seeing the seeing it from that perspective, really. It's kind of weird, you know? It's like I was standing there at some point, and now look at it. It's not good. Oh cool, That's that sounds fun. Um, what, <laughs> what did it just say? Did it just slag me off? I'm sure it just said, it slagged me off. I don't know what it said, but ga 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 probably was a you know slagging me off. So yeah, let's go over here. Oh, Mars is here. Of course, Mars has to be here. 
Our boss, real bad. Okay. The gloves are coming off. Well, that's that's fine. And look who's here to save the day. It's Al. After all that, you know, after I slagged him off a lot, he's come here to help me out. So yeah, that's why I think that double battle before is a bit pointless and a bit stupid. Because you go straight into an actual big, proper double battle anyway. So why make us do the first one, you know? Oh, I don't know. Whatever. So yeah, this is a double battle, and it is probably the longest battle in the whole game. Well, I'm sure it's the longest battle I had. Um, the rest of the video is literally just this battle. And as you can hear, it's already sped up. I sped up this battle, and it's still like seven minutes or like six minutes long. So it's crazy how long this battle is. And it is for like two reasons. The first reason is it's, it's a double battle. Double battles are always just longer anyway. You know, they don't, they're not always super long, but they're just usually just longer, you know? And the second reason is because you don't control one of the Pokemon. Because you have Owl, and you know what AI are like. They don't pick moves, they just close their eyes and random, it's random what moves they use, really. It just, it does seem like it's random. Like, there's no strategy for it, it's, it's if a monkey was just tapping all the buttons and just happened to use a move. So yeah, I don't, okay, one thing the boss man was saying was that he's going to destroy, in case you missed this storyline plot, he's going to destroy this universe so he can create his own universe and then make that his own. But how would, what? I don't get that at all. Where would he be in, in this process? Once the whole universe gets destroyed, I'm assuming that everyone dies. <laughs> So where is he going to be? Like, in some sort of super bubble, or riding on that Pokemon's back to like a happy place, or just closing his eyes and then he opens them again. It's like, oh brilliant, this is my world. Like, this is what I wanted. I don't know, it seems a bit crazy. <laughs> it seems a bit crazy to me. So yeah, back to the battle. This is, um, yeah, they each have three Pokemon, I believe. The strongest Pokemon out of them is Skunk Tank, as you can see here. It's got it's level 46, and you can tell it's the strongest Pokemon because it has a berry. That's kind of a clear sign that it's the strongest Pokemon. So yeah, with Bigger Bird, I just sent it out, and once it started to get weak, I started using Close Combat because, you know, I thought a hit it couldn't take any more hits anyway. So I just thought I might as well use Close Combat, and I got quite lucky there because um, it, Bigger Bird was also confused thanks to Bronzong. So it's quite lucky that it actually did hit. And yeah, that stupid light screen, he puts that up, which is annoying. And that's actually going to stay there and kind of screw me over a bit, not too much. So. Yeah, one thing you want to be aware of, they have six Pokemon between them. You have twelve Pokemon. Because I believe Owl actually does have all six of his Pokemon. And you should also have your all six of yours. Although I don't actually have six because Squirm doesn't count. <laughs> I'm not going to count Squirm as part of my team. So I only really have five, so I, we only really have eleven, but pretty much because of that, this makes this battle very hard to lose. The chances are you're just going to win, be just due to sheer, you know, numbers. The numbers alone mean you're going to win. So yeah, sorry about that, Owl. I kind of just killed M Munchlax, which is the baby version of Snorlax, I think, from the third gen. So yeah, things are going pretty well. I obviously switched out Bigger Bird to Hot Fuzz because Hot Fuzz is just a stronger. It's just strong and overall is pretty good. It's probably a bad move to use Hot Fuzz though. I probably should have gone for something else. That would have been a lot better. And yeah, so Golbat uses Giga Drain. And like, I don't know. I expected to do more damage than that. I don't know. Is Giga Drain a Bug type or a Grass type? I think it's a Bug type. That's why I didn't do that. So yes, the owl actually does really help me out here. Like, actually does. Because Hot Fuzz doesn't really do that much damage to these Pokemon. And then its second strongest Pokemon, Per Ugly, it kills in one! Using close combat. God, Owl is a trooper. I've been slagging him off all game, and then he finally, in the last act, comes through and turns out he's badass. Although I wouldn't rely on Owl too much. I'm sure there's um, a lot of poop, a lot of people watching this who went through the same battle and Al did nothing 
did like bugger all and just didn't help. <laughs> so, yeah. And yes, the Raptor's gone. It probably could have taken that hit if it hadn't used two close combats, but you know, it's not my Pokemon, I don't care. So yeah, with the light screen finally down, I can actually do some half decent damage against these Pokemon. Because we got Golbat here, which is Poison Flying type, I think, so... Electric... I probably should have switched in Plug Switch. Plug Switch probably would have been a lot better choice here, because... It was kind of obvious they were going to have Golbats. Every Team Galactic person seems to own a Golbat. I don't know if it's just their thing, you know, just their symbol. But everyone has a Golbat, so... And yet, I got what, pretty lucky, I would say. Or Al took a lot of hits. I only I didn't lose any Pokemon. And he lost two Pokemon. And maybe it's Ponita, you don't know. So yeah, I got pretty unlucky there, because Ponita's out and has Fire Blast, which actually isn't super effective against Goldbat. I always I always thought fire attacks would be, but it's just not. So yeah, Fire Blast unfortunately missed, but we're actually down to their last two Pokemon. So all we have to do is finish off these Goldbats and we're out of here. So yeah, Air Cutter, which unfortunately a critical damn hit, which it doesn't really matter, but because it didn't actually kill me at all. But now I'm on red health, which is kind of annoying. I decided to go for the weaker Golbat just to be sure, because I wasn't too sure how much damage Bubble Bean would do, and I wanted to take out one of the Golbats just so I don't want Hot Fuzz to die, you know. Hot Fuzz deserves this XP, so it's pretty cool. So stupid Owl uses. Brick Break, which doesn't do anything. So I use Surf because I know Owl's Pokemon is Water type as well and can take it. So yeah, that's the end of this double battle. So um, tune in next time where we're going to hopefully end Team Galactic and this whole saga. So I've been Honest on 23. I hope to see you then. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>